can you imagine the trauma and the hardship back then? Really difficult. But Manchester's a different place now, as you're about to see on footy adventures. Look, I'm at the Etihad campus. What an amazing looking stadium this is from the outside. And they have made a video where I traveled from Main Road, which is the old home of Manchester City, to the Etihad, where I investigated a bit of their past history. And um, yeah, there's still some old touches of Main Road. The center circle is still there. And it's a really interesting video. So I'll leave a link to that down below. Um, if you want to check that out, please do. But yeah, this is a stadium that I've wanted to come into for a tour for a long time. Tours used to be a huge part of my, uh, of my content but obviously for obvious reasons they were cancelled a lot over the past year but ever since uh, I came uh, since I've been here last anyway um, there's been a few new additions such as this statue here that looks a lot like David Silver to me and there is a little David Silver quote up on the wall up there the magician Spanish international midfielder World Cup and European Championships winner from 2010 to 2020 he played 436 games for, games for City scoring 77 goals and winning 14 trophies here is Vincent company captain leader warrior inspiration Belgian international defender from 2008 to 2019 he played 360 games scoring 20 goals remember that one against Leicester and won 12 trophies for his beloved city it's uh, nine o'clock which means the club shop is open which means i've got to go and try and uh, buy a ticket for this tour but yeah please do remember to hit a like button um if you're new around here please subscribe i make videos about loads of different clubs all up and down the country and the world actually i've been to loads of different countries pre-covid but yeah nowadays just mainly uk of course for obvious reasons but i do want to branch out eventually but yes uh premier league stadiums and i've been to champions league qualifiers lately and europa league qualifiers and non-league football as well so absolutely love it all different levels if you love football please do subscribe it'd be great to see you around here a little bit more often Right, I've got my little lanyard on and I'm here inside the first exhibition area now. And I think this tour will start in a little, like in like 10 minutes or whatever, but you get to look around here first and just look at this, look at some of the trophies, Community Shield, the um, League Cup Prem and FA Cup that they won, the Formidables and uh, yeah, they're of course Centurions in 1718, the Formidables in 1819, the success that this club has had in recent years is incredibly impressive. I know they spent a lot of money, but I mean, you still gotta win the stuff and just look at some of these trophies in here, Q montage. City did actually win stuff before the takeover as you can see here look 1970 UEFA Cup Winners Cup so, so they've won some massive stuff such as the Division 2 playoff final against Gillingham on the 30th of May of 1999. Hi everybody, I'm Martin, keeping the mask on of course. Welcome to Footy Adventures. Let me show you something that you may not know about Manchester. These are cotton bobbins. Why? Because Manchester was predominantly a cotton industry back in 1880. And many of the factories would use similar bobbins to these. Of course, this, this has got string on, but of course it would be cotton back then. Yeah. Now, kids were working 
in these factories from the ages of seven, eight years old, 12 hours a day. Can you imagine the trauma and the hardship back then? Really difficult. But Manchester's a different place now, as you're about to see on Footy Adventures. for the Commonwealth Games. It doesn't anymore. We're going to show you inside how we've extended it from 38 into a much, much higher capacity. So, of course, we had Arsenal here on Saturday. Correct, everybody? Yep. Take a look at this. This is left over from the Arsenal game. They bring their own water. Ivo and I will tell you about what we give them in a, in a little while. Why is it a different shape to the uh, away team? Well, first of all, the other dressing room, the away team dressing room is kind of square, so you can kind of yeah. hide. This is open. It's like Knights of the Round Table. You can't yeah. hide, and it's Pep's idea. It's his design. Yeah, fair enough. So nice. there's no hiding places. Nice. And so while the tour is moving on slightly, look, you can see how big it is down here. It is absolutely tremendous. And one of the tour guides was just saying they're going to um, potentially expand up there one day and make it a 62 or 63,000 seater, but right now 55. And uh, yeah, just being down here, you can really see how big it is. I've got to try and walk as far away as I can from the City Club shop because they are blaring out music out there and while it's brilliant for the atmosphere of the shop and of uh, the people taking the tours and stuff, um, it's not going to be great for this video when it all gets copyright claimed. But that tour was absolutely amazing. It feels so good to be back doing big stadium tours at big clubs again. Like this, like I may have mentioned earlier in this video, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, I think I did, but stadium tours used to be one of the biggest parts, if not the biggest part of my channel alongside match day vlogs. I've been to Barcelona, Liverpool, Rangers, Celtic, Bali United, Valencia, Real Madrid, Ajax, Feyenoord, Porto, 
um, amongst others I'm sure that I'm forgetting now, but just amazing to come back and do these big ones. Man City just now, I'm about to go and do Man United, but this was tremendous. Firstly, a huge shout out to um, the tour guides, Evo and Martin. Evo is from Spain, Martin is um, a local Man City fan, and what a job it must be for him to work at the club and be able to show people around. But um, yeah, they were fantastic, but so is the stadium itself. I mean, it used to be a 38,000 seat or something just around the time in the Commonwealth Games, but what the City Group have done to develop not just the stadium, but the area around it as well is absolutely insane. And um, yeah, if you want to find out a bit more about the area, I did go and visit the training campus last time just from the outside as well as their old stadium main road as well so yeah if you want to check that out remember that is linked in the description box below as well but yeah what a tour this has been please do remember to hit that like button and uh, drop your next tour suggestions in the comments section below i'm always up to uh, always up for hearing where you want me to go and uh, yeah i'll do my best to get there but thank you so much for watching um yeah if you've got this far and you're not subscribed i guess you've enjoyed it so please do subscribe i've got loads of content coming up that you won't want to miss out on so yeah it'll be great to see you around here a little bit more often I'll leave some videos on screen right now. Please do click on one to carry on watching. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.